the, the, the group on Mount Moroto. DTP. The boy called Oteba. Yes. It was another boy. You people, you are exactly 130 years behind your other brothers. 130 years behind. And when I come to that ceremony, I will tell you that. Because these tribal wars you are talking about were there in all this area. The last war between Ankore and Rwanda was 1895. That was the last war between Ankore and Rwanda. There used to be wars between Bunyoro and Buganda, but these have stopped. 130 years, it's now 2020. So this stopped from 1900, they never happened again. The, the, the raids, the, all those things you are talking about, what you say are among the attackers, they were also <laughs> big ones, not just small ones, big wars, because these are big groups. This will be big wars, but they stopped. So you people, you are 130 years behind. When you hear people are raiding, 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 what, what is this? What is this? And it is the only peaceful people are the Ateso. All the others, the Karamojong, the Turkana, the, the Topotha, the, I don't know the ones in Ethiopia. Uh -huh. So this is really a, a lost century for you people. Uh, a century, not, not a decade, not decades, not a century. So when I come, I will come with a prepared speech and say, <laughs> you people, you are 130 years behind the others. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, once the Banyankore, Banyoro, Baganda, Banyarwanda, the ones who, who were not very aggressive were the ones of Tanzania, the, the, the Karagwe, Karagwe, Bukoba. These were not, they were not making so much trouble. Or they are part of our system, but they were not making trouble. But the others, ooh, was, 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 was. But they stopped. Uh -huh. Now, the second lagging behind, and this one is recent because I was involved in that one, the nomadism, stopping nomadism. Stopping nomadism. That nomadism is very wasteful. Nomadism, when people don't, they are moving around, very wasteful. People, children don't get immunized. They die. They don't go to school. There is no income, they don't, uh, even the cows you say, you are after cows, those cows, you are, uh, you are an enemy of the cows. Because if you move a cow from here to here, it takes a disease. So this cow here, which you have stolen, brings the disease to the cows you have. <laughs> it kills them. There's no way you can say you love cows. This is what I told the Banyankori as, as a young student in, in 19, uh, 1960s, how I walked from Kuraru to Kuraru. Those of Anyamkuri, you see, who are now big farmers, rich people with, with good houses, with the solar power. They were like Karamajong. They were staying in Manyata, the, 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 the Kurarus, like this. By 1960, they were in Kuraru, even by 1986. But we, we the leaders, were able to say, to say, you people, you must undergo social economic transformation. So please, don't go on with this story, atekir, 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 just the story. You, these people must change. 
they must change so that they live a better life. Otherwise, you are not helping them. This is the second one, second point. Uh, the third one, of course, is connected with the second one. This is the water, the water. Because part of the, uh, except for Teso, some of the other areas have problem of water. But the leaders don't care about their people. The, when my wife was Minister of Karamoja, she found each district of Karamoja was being given 800 million shillings for water. But the money was being pocketed by the districts. They just pocket the money. So she had now to start to use her Karamoja budget now, Minister of Karamoja budget, to have water now, some of the dams. There is uh, the Atekel festival, which takes place once a year, either in Kenya, South Sudan, Ethiopia, or Uganda. So, Your Excellency, the, the cultural festival, according to Her Excellency, the Ambassador of Ethiopia, has been endorsed to be hosted by Uganda this year in November. So the purpose of our visit, Your Excellency, is mainly to continue uh, giving you the updates about that festival, following my brief to you uh, when we're in Changkwans, but also sometime back on phone. Your Excellency, the festival uh, we propose is going to be celebrated under the theme celebrating the shared heritage and charting a path for peace, security, and development. That's the theme for the celebration of the, the festival. And the festival is intended to consolidate peace building, togetherness, and a celebration of unity. Your Excellency, the festival has uh, objectives that we, we put across that we intend to achieve. Uh, one is to create an opportunity for dialogue on issues of peace, security, and development across the Atekel people in the region. Your Excellency, I know you're very much familiar with the type of life that the Atekel people live. We've been nomadic, the Kato community from the Horn of Africa coming downwards. So we feel that one of the disturbing factors that has hindered progress of the Atekel community is to see that we can be able to achieve peace and unity through these kind of festivals which we can organize for the whole Atekel to rediscover ourselves. Your Excellency, in consultation, uh, we have had dialogue with High Excellency, the Ambassador of Ethiopia. We've been able to agree that the venue for celebration, for our national celebration, will be in the Soroti city. It will be in Soroti Sports Ground. You have made us very proud, Your Excellency, in Teso. The first time in the history of Uganda that we have appoint appointed a vice president. We have got a speaker and many ministers. These are not Teso, they are my children. <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, apart from this meeting, we also have one or two issues, especially the issue of compensation of animals in Teso. The exercise is not flowing well. I want to call a conference of the elders. That's what we agreed. Then there was the other boy. There was the other boy. From Karamoja, the people want peace. I have, ha I have had meetings, held meetings in
My group. <laughs> First of all, I would like. Excellence, it is our yearly celebration of our Heritage Day. Of Heritage, yeah. you know, as Teso. Teso is very large. The kingdom cuts across up to Kenya. For the benefit of the African speaking people and their neighbors in different countries.